Hello, welcome. In this short video, I will discuss the maximum likelihood estimates of mean and variance of a random process with Gaussian distribution. So, given a random process X that has a Gaussian distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square. The problem is, what are the most likely estimates of me this mean and variance given n realizations of this random process? The goal is to find maximum likelihood estimates mu hat and sigma square hat. The problem can be formally stated as follows argument that maximizes the logarithm of the probability of x given mu. This probability of x given mu can be written as the product of n probability distributions. That is the probability distribution of each of the realization. That is the product from n equal to 1 to capital N, 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square. The likelihood function is defined as probability of x given mu. That is, for the n realizations, it is defined as the product from small n equal to 1 to capital N, 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square. Now, using this definition in the expression 1, we get argument maximizing mu with respect to mu logarithm of product from n equal to 1 to capital N 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential of minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square. The solution to this problem is basically the derivative of the log likelihood function with respect to the parameter mu is 0. That is derivative with respect to mu logarithm of product from m equal to 1 to capital N 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential minus x minus xn minus mu whole square by equals to 0. So, you see a uh, function has two terms. The first one is the summation from n equal to 1 to capital N logarithm of 2 pi sigma square power 1 by 2. And the second one is minus the product when it goes inside exponential it becomes summation and logarithm exponential will cancel out. So, we have summation n equal to 1 to n x n minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square equals to 0. Now, since the first term is independent of mu, its derivative is 0. So, only thing left is the second term. Now, since the derivative is a linear operator, it can be taken inside the summation. So, the problem becomes the derivative with respect to mu taking the constants outside x n minus mu whole square equal to 0. That implies summation n equal to 1 to n. The derivative of x n minus mu whole square is 2 times x n minus mu. And derivative of uh, mu with 1. So, the solution is. So, the derivative is minus 1. So, the derivative is summation n equal to 1 to n 2 times x n minus mu to minus 1 is equal to 0, which can be simplified as n times mu equals summation n equal to 1 to n x n. Hence, the maximum likelihood estimate of the mean 
of n realizations of x is given by its arithmetic average that is summation one, n equal to 1 to n of xn divided by the number of values. Now to solve for the maximum likelihood estimate of the variance we have the following optimization problem. Argument maximize with respect to sigma square log of the likelihood function p of x given sigma square logarithm of p of x given sigma square. Here the likelihood function is again the same used in the first part. So the problem, so the solution is given by the derivative of log likelihood with respect to sigma square equal to and the derivative is 0. So inserting the value of the likelihood function we get logarithm of the product from n equal to 1 to n 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential minus x n minus mu square by 2 sigma square equals 0. Again the first term is derivative with respect to sigma square summation n equal to 1 to n minus logarithm of 2 pi sigma square power 1 by 2. And the second term is minus derivative with respect to sigma square summation n equal to 1 to n x n minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square equals 0. So the derivative for the first term is given by summation from n equal to 1 to n. So the derivative for the first term is, is derived as follows. Since the value sigma square is independent of, of n, the summation can be rewritten as n times derivative of logarithm of 2 pi sigma square multiplied by 1 by 2. The summation from n equal to 1 to n of xn minus mu whole square is actually independent of sigma square. Hence, it can be taken outside. And the rest of the term has the following derivative. It is the derivative of 1 by x which is given by minus 1 by x square. Here it is minus 1 by sigma square whole square. And the difference is equal to 0. So now rewriting the terms n by 2 and derivative of a logarithm of function is given by 1 by 2 pi sigma square multiplied by 2 pi plus, excuse me, there is a minus here. So minus n by 2, 1 by 2 pi sigma square into 2 pi plus 1 by 2, 1 by sigma square whole square summation n equal to 1 to n xn minus mu square, mu whole square equals 0. So this 2 pi cancels with this 2 pi and this 2 can be cancelled out and hence sigma square equal to summation n equal to 1 to n xn minus mu whole square. Therefore, the maximum likelihood estimate of the variance is given by 1 by n summation n equal to 1 to n xn minus mu. That is a standard deviation. That is the difference between the mean and the each value square. It is also the maximum likelihood estimate of the variance of a normal distribution. Thanks for